Welcome to Aboriginal Art in America, a podcast where each week we spend a few minutes with a work by an Indigenous Australian artist. I'm joined today by Henry Skerritt, curator of the Kluge Roo Aboriginal Art Collection. What are we talking about today, Henry? This was a pretty special week because uh, I've been working on an exhibition called Ira Ticha Kwari Jungu, which means uh, past and presence together. And uh, it's an exhibition that celebrates 50 years of Papanyatula artists, which is a place, it's sort of right in the middle of Australia, and it's where um, desert artists first started painting with acrylic paints. Um, it, it, it gave rise to what's often called the dot painting movement that, that a lot of people are familiar with. Anyway, I asked Nicole to unroll this canvas because, well, because it had never been seen, really. It had been acquired by John Kluge in the 90s and kept rolled up and it's never been exhibited. But it, it caught my eye because I had a feeling that it might be one of the very first canvases produced at Papanyatula because, you know, People are very interested in this emergence of desert painting, but they tend to look at the boards, the, the works that were produced in 1971, 72. They think they're the really radical things. But, but it occurred to me that this moment when people move to canvas might also be a, a kind of an interesting moment to investigate. And that all got me thinking a little bit about medium, right? Because if we think about the 1970s in contemporary art, we think about it as a time when, you know, artists were really exploding what contemporary art could be, what mediums people could use. I mean, you could use anything for art. In the 1970s, you know, painting could be art, photography could be art, a pickled shark could be art. Heck, even an artist hanging from meat hooks from the ceiling could be art, right? I'm actually hanging from meat hooks right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of you to call that art. <laughs> Anything could be art. But all of a sudden, people were saying, well, look, Aboriginal people are doing contemporary art because they're using paint on canvas. And, th and that seems really unfair because, you know, Aboriginal people have been experimenting with medium since time immemorial. I mean, that's what artists do, right? Like, artists use the tools that are available and they use them in order to create works that comment on the state of the world they live in. And so, you know, I don't think it was a radical thing that these artists were using acrylic. I don't think it was a radical thing that these artists were using canvas or boards. But what I think was radical is that every time you introduce a new medium, it gives artists the opportunity to, you know, explore some new ideas, to, to see what makes that medium sing, you know. And, and we can see that, we can see that absolutely perfectly in this canvas by Dinny Nolan because he's taken, he's taken this new medium and painting on canvas, well, it's quite different to painting on board, right? When you paint on board, the paint sits right on the top of the surface. When you paint on canvas, the paint sinks in and it allows you to create some areas of translucence and some areas of opacity. And that's exactly what he's done here. He's layered some sections of dots to sink in and then he's layered others on top to keep them kind of more, um, more opaque. And it gives the painting a real sort of, a real sort of quiet depth, quiet depth that you could really almost miss unless you were giving it your full attention. And I bring all this up because, you know, when I think about medium and I think about contemporary art, and I think about the ways that people have thought about Aboriginal art, you know, it, it, it strikes me that, you know, Aboriginal artists in using these new mediums are doing something that they've always done. It's something very old. But they're doing it to comment on the world that we live in today. And that's what makes it really contemporary. Dinny Nolan, he's there using canvas, exploring all of its potential to create something that speaks across, across worlds, something that tells us about his culture, about his traditional practices that have been going on for millennia. But he's doing it in a new way, in a way that can sparkle and shimmer and shine and maybe make its way into an art gallery in Virginia. So now that you've got this one unrolled, are you going to hang it up? Oh, you betcha. So we're going to have that one up uh, in the museum from June 24. Uh, so everyone has to come and see it.
Find out more at kluge-ru.org. Aboriginal Art in America is a production of the University of Virginia and a member of the Virginia Audio Collective. Listen and subscribe at virginiaaudio.org.